Howdy folks, Cindy at Prepped Your Stead here. And I wanted to give you guys an update on what's going to be happening on the channel over the next three weeks or so. First, I'm going to get the construction zone out of my kitchen. I have no running water. I have a dry cabin at the moment because the well digger went out of business and so we're all scrambling to find new well diggers. Um, I don't even have a kitchen sink at this point. Everything I do, I do in buckets or my stock pots or my water bath pot, whatever. Um, it does mean I go to town to take showers every single day. Um, so yay me. Um, anyhow, over the next couple weeks, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of baking. Uh, I've got bread that I've got to get done. I've got Christmas dinner. Um, I have no appliances, no refrigerator, no stove, no nothing except the wood stove. So as I do all of this cooking, I will do a couple of videos on bread and tortillas and Christmas dinner and things like that in the wood stove because it's a way different experience. Um, there will always be a gap from the time that I put things into the oven and then I'll do a video taking it out because the time is not constant on that stove. You have to actually really pay attention to it. So that'll be a two part video every single time I bake or cook, just to forewarn you. Um, also, I'm gonna try and get some more of this outside stuff showing you what we're doing on, we've got some dozer work going on and things like that. So I wanna be able to show you that kind of stuff that we accomplished and hopefully I can get some plumbing soon. Um, I just got electricity about a month and a half ago. Uh, I spent six months with no electricity to go along with the no running water. Um, so it's a great bug out practice. Um, I can easily do it. I now know that. Um, just so you know, during the summer or months that the temperature is above freezing, I do shower at home. I have a shower bag. I run a shower, but if I shower when it's below freezing outside right now, the ice comes back up the drain and my bathtub fills up with an ice froth. So that's why I go to town for the shower for now. Um, it's just such an experience to live in such a hostile environment and not have what everybody else has in this century. It really truly is like living in the 1800s. So a lot of my stuff will show how to live very old school, very off grid, except now I have power. First thing I plugged in, coffee pot. Screw the lights, gotta have coffee. So it'll be fun showing you guys that living without all that technology and all of that excess is possible in, a, in an extreme bug out situation where you have to do it. Uh, maybe I can show you how to do it easier so that when you do have to do it, you got it. So anyways, that's what's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks once I get my kitchen cleaned up. Got to get the bolts and parts and hopefully I can get some drywall up this week before I start the videos because right now it's insulation on the walls. So I really do want to get a couple things done before I get that video out probably early next week. Um, other than that, it'll be a lot of outside stuff if the stupid weather cooperates. It's about, I don't know, about 32 out here right now, right at the freezing level. Um, so one day I'll take you guys water hauling, showing you where I go, what we do for water hauling. Um, it's just really a totally different life when you live without the modern conveniences. So that's what we're going to have going on. And I will talk to y'all later. Like, subscribe, comment, please. Um, really helps the algorithm and lets me know what you guys want to see in the future as well. I will see you next time.